Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see at any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, a 2022 model now available pre-owned, the latest and greatest from Grand Seiko. This is the Evolution 9 Collection Spring Drive GMT SBGE 283. The watch in high-intensity titanium measures 41 millimeters in diameter, 14.4 millimeters thick from lug to lug. The case just the case, is 47.6 millimeters, and then if you measure it end length to end length, the total distance across the wrist is 51.7 millimeters, and the watch has a broad 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. That's how you can really tell that this Evo 9 collection is very modern. It's the broad spacing between the lugs, always the hallmark of a lately designed watch. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the watch, all in sapphire and titanium, wears light. You can see it's pretty broad across the wrist, so I'm going to recommend this one, at least on the bracelet for a wrist of my size or larger, that's 16 centimeters circumference or larger. Uh, if you want to wear it on a smaller wrist, you're going to want to put it on a strap. And you can see with strap holes, that's not difficult to do. But just keep in mind, on the bracelet, 16 cm and up. It's not particularly thin, but nor is it offensively thick. It will fit under jacket cuffs, if not the tightest of dress sleeves. We have a bracelet here in titanium. It's a three-link design. You can see there's a little polished rolled bevel on the side. Everything else is satinated. We have a pin bar system, so we have a combination of pin and a sleeve, and the one goes inside the other, goes inside the link, and so you use a block and punch to size this. This has been a fact of life for titanium Grand Seiko bracelets forever. Just keep in mind you don't size this one with a screwdriver. Now you can see there's a half size link on each side that allows for fine tuning the size, and then we have a clasp, which is twin trigger, single fold deployant. You can see a combination of media blasting and polishing on the logo. You press both triggers, it pops open. And it is a thick gauge clasp. You can see internally the fixture system and how it works. And you can see the little arrows that indicate how you remove the bars and the pins from the links. Taking a quick look at the lugs, you can start to see the Evo 9 case. It's not quite a 62 GS or a polyhedron or a 44 GS, it's fairly new. In my opinion, it blends some of the polyhedron case designs with a bit of 44 GS, 62 GS, and some 9S. So there's a lot of going on here, but it's not exactly one design. It's a mix of many previous Grand Seiko case designs with contemporary proportions, such as, for example, the lug to lug width versus the thickness or the 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now the bezel and the case flank are polished, and this is done manually against a spinning tin plate. They call this Saratsu finish, and while it's not quite the samurai sword polishing the Grand Seiko makes it out to be, it is a very fine manual finishing process that takes about three years to master, and it does produce a beautiful, optically smooth surface. Nice thinking on Grand Seiko's part to include case back polish, case top polish, and then several different polished facets along with satination for contrast. We have here a screw down crown and a watch that is water resistant down to 100 meters. You can see that the screw down crown holds fast inside of a crown guard structure. We have a vertical satination on the bezel. It has a little polished lip and then we have a circular satination on its outer face. We have a cambered sapphire and then we have a dial with beautifully hand-finished dial furniture, so the frame for the date, the Grand Seiko logo, the indices and the hands. These are finished by artisans who do this manually with micro tools all day long. So they're able to achieve that beautiful break between the satinated top of the hands and their polished flanks. And these are like little cut gems. So the case on the outside is hand-finished, the case on the inside, that is the dial, all these parts manually made and then manually placed. It is a GMT, it is a spring drive, so we have a secondary time zone that'll demonstrate now. You can see that the watch includes a second time zone 24 hour hand and a 24 hour scale on the bezel. The local hour hand can be adjusted independently even while the watch continues keeping time. Minute hand doesn't move, seconds hand isn't stopped, the 24 hour hand is not disrupted. You can adjust the date forward or backwards as you travel time zone at a time, east or west. The watch has plenty of luminescence, as you can see right here. It's an easy watch to read, and they make that secondary time zone index blue, so it's easy to read apart from the other hands of the dial. The watch, of course, has true independent 12 and 24 hour time zones, a stop seconds function, 
And then there is a power reserve indicator on the dial, which tracks the three-day automatic winding power reserve of the movement. Now, it is a spring drive caliber, which means it has a spring barrel that drives the hands. It has no batteries, no capacitors, and no motors. The spring drives the drivetrain, which turns a unidirectional governing wheel, which you can see on the reverse side of the watch. It turns in one direction. It doesn't oscillate like a balance in a Swiss lever movement. And by turning in that one direction, it creates an induced electrical current, activates an integrated circuit with a quartz oscillator, and that in turn activates a braking electromagnetic force that slows down the wheel. The wheel is directly geared to the hands, and that is how the watch keeps time. The action is entirely mechanical, and an induced electrical current creates an electromagnetic force that slows the discharge of time to the point that the watch will keep time to plus or minus 15 seconds a month. So it has quartz precision, but mechanical watch sole. This is a 30 joule movement with a three day power reserve, and it is made by a watchmaker. It is serviced by a watchmaker and tuned by a watchmaker, and it's designed to last not just the life of the owner, but the life of the watch it is a lifetime caliber. It also produces the completely smooth sweep that is distinctive of Grand Seiko spring drive technology, and it was no mean feat to achieve this technology. As the first research, in a spring drive started in 1977. Automatic spring drive was not ready until 2005. Reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.